All right, so today I'm going to show you guys how to set up and install WordPress on your InMotion hosting account. Now, InMotion is slightly different from some other cPanel interfaces that you'll deal with, like uh, HostGator or Bluehost, uh, but it's still really, really simple. They probably make it easier than anyone else I know. So what you do is you just sign in uh, on your InMotion site um, and show up in your account management panel, the AMP, right here. From this screen, you're basically going to scroll down to your quick link quick link section. Here you're going to click get started on your website and you're just going to click it. Uh, it's going to ask you if you want to create a new website or move to an existing website for this account. Uh, you're going to create a new website and it's going to ask you well, how you want to build it. You basically say hey I want to use WordPress because that's the software we're going to use to build your site. So you click on this and it gives you a, a checkbox here and so it's got a bunch of different pieces of software that you can choose to install. We're just going to go ahead and choose WordPress. There's a bunch of other stuff here, Joomla, Drupal, KubeCard, SendCart. We don't want any of those. We're installing WordPress uh, because we want to start uh, a blog or a website right here and it's going to be really quick. So we're going to click Submit and uh, it takes us right here. So right here uh, it says, okay, we've selected WordPress. Uh, it's going to be on a new website. And what we want to do right now is go to install. So we're going to click on the, the link that says go to install. Boom. All right, so now we're at the install section. Now, once we run through this, we're pretty much done. So this is going to be really, really quick, and it's going to be really simple. So first of all, we're going to choose a protocol. It's going to be HTTP. You, that's fine. You can leave it there. And then we're going to choose the domain. I'm setting this up for my brother, Jason Runyon. So uh, we're going to leave it at jasonrunyon.me. You're welcome, Jason. You can thank me later. Uh, we're going to leave it at the root directory. So if you wanted to install this blog at jasonrunyon.me slash blog, you could type in slash blog at this point, and that would install it into a subfolder. But right now, we're just going to install it at the root domain, which is going to be totally fine, and uh, most of you guys will probably want to do that. Uh, we're going to leave all these other fields blank, but uh, when we get down to site settings, we're going to hit site name, and we're going to type in what the name of the site is going to be. So Jason Runyon. And then you can type in your site name and site description right there. After that, you can choose to enable multi-site feature or not. Uh, most of you guys are not going to need the multi-site feature, but if you know that you're going to need it, go ahead and put that in. Uh, here, you're going to select your username and password. And then you can also choose your admin email. After that, you can choose your language. Most of you guys are going to leave it English, which is the default. You can click here and see the advanced options and get uh, notifications on updates, but you don't really have to do that either. Once we get that done, all you're going to do is click this install button, and boom. You're going to wait a few seconds. And there we go. So what previously, I'll show you guys what the site looked like before we installed this. So right, it was basically just an in-motion landing page. Website coming soon, stay tuned, not really anything that exciting. So now that we've got this installed, we're going to refresh this page. And there we go, there's our uh, default WordPress install. And so if you guys watch the next couple of videos, I'll show you how to actually customize your default WordPress install and get your site uh, looking a little bit more uh, customized, a little bit prettier. But that's how you install WordPress on your in-motion hosting environment. So if you guys have any more questions, you can leave them in the comments below. But check out the next video where I show you how to install uh, a theme and a child theme and then also customize uh, the site to look however you want it to look. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on the next videos.